ready? Yeah, I mean, I, I look forward to Thursday and Friday. They're always in, they always were really important to me as a coordinator and even more important now. I just know how much good work gets done on those two days uh, to kind of put the stamp on the week. So when, when I'm asked, are we ready? Ah, not yet. Honestly, we need Thursday and Friday and even the walkthrough on Saturday. And, you know, okay. We didn't see Gallo out there. He said he was questionable. No, he's been in and out. Uh, he's, he's, he's still questionable. Uh, he's, you know, I wish it was a better situation. If he can't go, those other guys that you have, they're all second-year players, uh, look like they kind of bring a little bit different things to the table. How do you view that, that group and what they can do? Yeah, I think you're right, Andy. They, You know, Daquan's a big guy. He's 250. He's an athlete, um, big target. Harry is really, really tough, uh, good blocker, physical. And then Benji's kind of an, an all-around guy. You know, he's, he's probably pretty good at everything. Um, so... They're an interesting threesome. I, I really like them. I like all three of them. They're just young right now. You know, Daquan had some in-game experience, which is good. Um, you know, the other two really haven't. Has this week played out like you thought so far? Yeah, it's been good. You know, um, Tuesdays is a big first, second down day for us. I thought they, they got after each other good. And today was two minute and third down and things. And I, I think they, uh, we got what we needed to out of the practice. I know you've got some young QBs repping as the scout team guys. What have you liked from the scout team and just in terms of the tempo and preparing for that? Yeah, they're doing a nice job. You know, those quarterbacks kind of got to lead it. And between Pop, bouncing back and forth, Dylan, and Big Ben, I mean, he, he really does a great job for us. Um, and then, you know, I, I, we got a, a young walk on Jackson Sigler that uh, I'm really impressed with doing a nice job. So I, I like the situation we have with our scout team quarterbacks, which if you're playing an athletic guy, we got some guys that can go do that and simulate that look. If you're playing a pocket guy that can zip it around, we got a guy that can go do that. So, feel good about that. Is it good to have those multiple options to get this week because you have so little known about Grant Wilson? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, we went back and watched his high school film, and but uh, it, you know, it, I think it'll be good for us throughout the year. You know, always have. We, some I've had years where we didn't have an athletic guy. And we'd have to put a receiver at quarterback or a running back at quarterback to simulate somebody that could do things with the ball. There was such heavy turnover in the receiver room in the offseason with all the transfers you brought in. What do you think of the job Fontel's done in terms of bringing all those new guys in? It doesn't seem like they <coughs> lost the previous group and they've been engaged. Yeah, it's them. challenging. I, I, I Honestly, I, I think it's a credit to the whole team because you bring in some older guys, you're bringing them in from the portal, you're bringing them in to take jobs or compete for jobs. And our guys embraced it. You know, I told them in the team meeting, it's our job, my job, to build the most competitive roster as we can. That's good for all of us. We all want to win a championship. Well, these are the things that are necessary for us to do. And, you know, nobody wants to shy away from competition in here. Somebody walks in a room that's a, that's a good player and a good, you know, going to be a, a good competitor for you, you should embrace that. And they have. They've done a great job with it. And it is. Coach Mines and, and Coach Price and, I mean, all, you know, Coach Jones. Would, I mean, you have to cultivate that. And, uh, you know, that, that goes back to our culture and you know, the foundation of who we want to be. When we talked to Monsoor last week, he was saying that you, know, you saw the way Canteen worked and film room and diet, and it made him change a lot of ways. Have you seen something different with him just in terms of emulating how, how Canteen operates? Yeah, I think two, two factors. Canteen is mature. He's quiet. He works. He does tons of extra. You got to kick him out of the film room. Um, he's just one of those guys, and you, know, you can preach it as a coach, but man, when they see a peer do it, that's the eye opener. Um, and 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 the second piece of that is Dorian came back with a real conviction, working at a really high level. So a combination of both those guys, I think, have really has really rubbed off on Mansoor and it's helping him grow up a little bit faster and. You know, be the player that he can be. Aiden Green's still making a lot of plays out there. Is he's putting it together where he's with those eye popping plays? It's consistent as well. Yeah, he you know he's he's done some good things. I mean, he's 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 got some explosive qualities. He's still learning the offense, and but he's tough. He's confident. There's certain attributes you look for in a freshman that tell you he can handle playing, and Aiden's got a lot of those. You know, he works at it. 
like a veteran in, in the film room and on the field. He's confident. He's physically mature. He's socially mature. He's a good student. Like, he just got a lot of things squared away that make you feel better about trusting what you're going to get when you put him out there. What did you like about how the punt return battle shook out? Well, you know, Tucker was sidelined with a minor in injury a little bit, but uh, he's back rolling, and uh, I think we got a couple of good ones. I think Ali's shorthanded back there. Jay Lane, we know what he can do. We know what Tucker can do. Uh, I think it's a good situation, you know, and, and you may see all three of those guys roll through there. We've seen some flashes from Feltarius in practice. I know he's coming off an injury. Have you have you liked, have you been pleased with what yeah. you've seen from him? Yeah. He's uh, – He's got a chance to give us some, some additional one-on-one -on -one wins inside. He is really quick. Uh, he's the quickest of those four or five inside guys. Now, he's also the lightest, but he's the quickest of those guys. And uh, he's got a real knack for pass rush and escapability. And I knew that coming into it. You know, we just didn't have the – we had the injury in, in preseason that kept him from, you know, helping us last year. Solo crowd announced – yeah, I'm glad you bring it up. I mean, a sellout crowd. I, I wasn't surprised when I saw that posted today. We got the greatest fans in America. I thank them for doing that, for selling out this game. It's Saturday night to start the season. Um, you know, all of us couldn't be more excited, more thrilled. So you know, it, it's a shout out to the fans for sure, uh, for selling this game out and, and packing it in. It's going to be a great atmosphere for college football. Charlie was too deep, but Jay McDonald, you expect him to factor in there at linebacker and both Mike and Will? Yeah, he's right there still on the cusp. It would not surprise me to see him in the ball game Saturday night. Uh, same with his brother. They're both kind of right there, the fourth, fifth guy, gotten a lot of reps and has done good things at times. And so they're both guys that are positioning themselves. They just keep getting better and, you know, have a chance to help us. What does Will Johnson show you? He's fast. He's quick. He's got to stay healthy. You know, that, that's the biggest thing for Will. He's, he hasn't had the reps that some of the other guys have had because of the injuries. But uh, he's a fast guy. He's quick. He plays with a good motor. Um, you know, I'm, I'm anxious to see him out there. you expect this development out of him after I believe he was recruited here as a safety by the previous staff and seeing the way he's developed his body and gotten better at that position? Yeah, and, and to me, you know, we evaluated him um, at my previous stop as well. And, he just felt like he was going to grow into a linebacker. 